Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have been recently reached out by a couple of my juniors and some other folks on Twitter and LinkedIn to ask me about JP Morgan India Code for Good Hackathon for which the process is gonna start soon. So I thought why not make a quick video and help out even more people who are going to participate in it this year. I participated in Code for Good Hackathon a year back. So in this video, I'll share my experience things I did and how I successfully got the offer from this hackathon. So let's get started. First, let's talk about eligibility. So it was an on-campus opportunity and all the students who had CGPA above seven were eligible to sit in the coding round. The first round was hacker rank coding test where we had to solve two questions. If you are actively solving DSA problems on lead code or any other platform, then you won't have any issue in solving these problems. If I had to rate a uh, difficulty level of the problems, I would say they were lead code easy medium. I will link the questions that were asked in my coding round in the description box. So you can check that out to get an idea about the difficulty level. And uh, after the coding round, uh, there was a higher view video interview. So all the students who had CGP above seven, they had to give the coding round and they also had to give the higher view video interview round. Higher view is an AI platform. And basically in this round, uh, two questions were asked. So they appear on the screen and then you have to record a video answering those questions. Um, you do get one retake for each question. So um, if you mess up the first time, then you can re-record the video and uh, just try not to mess up the second time because then you won't be able to change your answer. You get two minutes, I guess, for each question. A tip from my end would be to look for general behavioral round questions online and you will be able to find tons of questions like uh, what were your life goals and how where do you see yourself in five years and things like that. So those type of questions just uh, try to look for them and prepare your answers beforehand and um, then you will have some material or something to speak on. So you'll be a little bit more prepared. and. Um, so yeah, as I said, uh, all the eligible students had to give the coding round and the higher view video interview. And the selection was on the basis of resume, coding round and higher view video interview round performance. And then students are selected for Code for Good Hackathon. The hackathon takes place in June. So you will have a couple of months to brush up your dev skills. So in this hackathon, teams were formed by JP Morgan and each team had seven, five to seven members and two mentors. These mentors uh, will be from JP Morgan and uh, your teammates will be from different colleges and their tech stack will also be different. So as a team, you all collectively need to choose a tech stack that most of the members are comfortable in so that it becomes easier to coordinate and distribute work and uh, mentors are there to keep a check on the whole team and they will also guide you and ask different type of questions like how you're coordinating with the team how you have come up with the solution and things like that so they will just keep a check on the whole team and they're basically judging everyone on the basis of their communication skills uh, their contribution to the discussions happening and how well they are coordinating and contributing to the team so they are uh, consider all these factors and your selection is on that basis. So coming to the problem statement, uh, there will be a couple of NGOs um, on the first day of the hackathon. They will introduce themselves and the problem that they want you to solve. And uh, then all the teams have to give their problem statement preference. Um, there will be a survey form and you need to fill your preference. And uh, it might happen that you do not get the problem statement that you wanted because it's on the first come first of basis. So after getting the problem statement, what you need to do is um, just start planning with your team, distribute the work and uh, just look at the requirements uh, properly, what the pro NGO wants you to make, how they want you to solve the problem statement. Try to think creatively and come up with a robust solution that actually solves the problem and uh, you can make a web app or a mobile app this depends on the requirements given by the NGO and uh, also the tech stack that your team members are familiar with so decide that and then start building 
after you're done building the solution the next step will be presenting it in front of ngo and uh, judges so um there will be two rounds uh, in the first round top three teams will be selected and in the second round the winner will be chosen from um top those finalists so even if your team doesn't win uh, you have an equal chance of getting the offer so don't worry about that just try to perform well in the hackathon by contributing as much as you can and uh, some important tips from my end will be take initiatives don't try to dominate and try to be a bit flexible with what the team says um, try to put forward your points whenever necessary ask relevant questions from the mentors from your team members while discussing the idea and the solution um, it can happen that uh, the tech stack your team goes with is not something uh, that you have worked on before so try to ask help uh, from your team members and uh, there will be subject matter experts so you will get uh, technical help from them as well so just ask for help and uh, try to coordinate well with your team try to contribute as much as you can and you're gonna learn a lot in this hackathon is going to be a lot of fun it will be a 24 hour hackathon and you will be building something in those 24 hours so it will be fun and because after uh, the coding round and the high review video interview uh, when you get to know that you will be participating in the hackathon so just start preparing so by that i mean uh, you should start learning web development or app development if you haven't uh, done that before like if you are pretty new to it so start with basics maybe learn html css javascript or uh, maybe react or something uh, just try to have some front end and back end knowledge because that will help a lot and that way you will be able to contribute well in the project so yeah that's basically what you need to do you will be learning a lot of things so it's gonna be a great experience for you and uh, yeah that was all for this video uh, good luck to everyone who is gonna sit for uh, code for good um process this year and i hope you all make it please feel free to reach out to me on linkedin and ask your questions in the comment box below i'll try to reply them as soon as possible and uh, yeah that was all for this video i'll see you in the next one pretty soon so till then take care and bye bye